Namaste and welcome to day 5 of 30 days of upright. I hope you are you are learning along with us excited to build something new with upright. We hope to see lots of amazing projects being built up and submitted in our awesome repo. In today's session, we will look at the platforms. In the last episode, we went through the AppRights console, AppRights dashboard and various functionalities. So today we are going to look at platforms. Adding platforms in our project helps us validate the request. So any re API request coming to our project from external application, the platforms allows us to validate those. So we validate the origin of request based on the platform added in our project or against the project added here and any origin that does not match to the platforms added here will be rejected. So how we can add platform right now we can add web platform and flutter platform but more platform supports are coming soon. So if we add a web platform we need to add the name for our platform and then the host name. This is the domain name. For localhost, you can just simply add localhost, but for other, for your deployed application, deployed web application, you need to add the domain name. And also for Flutter projects that you want to run on web, you need to add the platform, web platform, not Flutter platform. So once the Flutter web is running in the web, Flutter app is running in the web, it is acted as a web platform. So I can add localhost. And for Flutter, right now we support iOS and Android, but desktop platforms are coming soon as well. And for Flutter projects, iOS and Android, we need to add the name. And for Android, we need to add package name that we can find inside our build.gradle file. And for iOS, we need to use the bundle ID. And usually, if you have not changed for Flutter application, the package name and the bundle ID is same. So you need to add your name. Name can be anything that you decide, but bundle ID and package name should be the exact name mentioned in your build.gradle or for iOS in your Xcode. Once you register these platforms, you can then make request or connect to AppRite backend using AppRite SDKs from your web or Flutter application. Now that we know how to add platforms in our AppRite project, let us create a demo Flutter project and request make a sample request to AppRite API and see the response in action. So let me create a sample project. Let me just call it 30 days of AppRite. Hit enter. It's not a valid package name. Okay. Okay. 30 days of AppRite. So I'm opening my project in Visual Studio Code. First thing I need to do is in the powerspec.aml file, I need to add the dependency. So let me add AppRite dependency. And instead of 0.4.0, I will use 0.5.0 dev.1. And let's pop get. Okay, it's successful. Now, first we need to add the platform. I'm going to run on Android. So let me add Android platform. If I go to Android app build.gradle, I can find the application ID. So this is the package name or application ID for my project. Let me copy this and let me add it to the platforms. So previously, we set up this 30 days of app, right? So if I go in here, add platform, Flutter, Android, let's say Android app, let's paste this, 
register see now we have 30 days of app right android app platform added here now let me go back to my project first in order to make a request let's go to main.dart file i need to initialize the app right sdk so let's do that in my home page i don't want to change anything just here let's create initial init state and in here i will initialize the app right client and service client 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 and here i need to call set endpoint this will be my endpoint and right now i'm running my app right in the virtual machine so i need to use the ip address of my virtual machine so let me try that here set project we need the project id so let's go to settings and then copy this project id so let me go back to app my flutter project and add the project id here now as we are using it in development mode in localhost we need to add self signed certificate so our self signed certificate doesn't produce any error after this let's initialize account service client and now i can make a request dot create let's use password password then response i can just response dot catch error error dot masses this is how we can instantiate a service pass it our fully set up client and then make a request to the app right server let's run it so not in linux but let me start my emulator so here is my emulator let me hit f5 so that it will run so it's running and we can see that our account is created and in the log we see the return response we get the user as a response whose id is this we have not added the name registration date status email email verification and preferences once the request is complete we can go back to our app right server and we can see that our new user that we created from our app has been listed in the users we can even manage it directly from here we can block it we can see the devices it is logged into so it's not logged into any devices and we can see the activity the account was just created we can also delete the user so this is how easily we can set up our app right client and make a request in flutter similarly we could do similar things with any other platform that is supported either client side or server side and all of the sdks work similarly they have similar way to set up the client and similar way to make a request to the app right server you can go to the official getting started documentation for web or getting started documentation for flutter to quickly create your project and make a sample request by initializing your sdk this is all for day five thank you everyone for watching this tutorial see you again in the next episode